Hey, this is Big Tony Ragu, and as promised, we're going to be talking with the lobster truck. New truck out there, debuting out here on the uh, Les Ball, more Melrose. We're going to be talking with the owner, Justin, and he's got a few items that we're actually going to be uh, talking with him about. Actually, uh, we tried one of them. We're going to be checking out the uh, lobster roll itself. How are you doing today, Justin? Good. How are you? Real cool. So tell everybody a little bit about the lobster truck, a little bit behind the concept. Why a lobster truck? Um, the lobster truck came about after a trip to, in, over the summer to Maine. Um, we went there, we hit up about five or six lobster shacks. We came back, we were looking for a lobster roll, there wasn't really anything out here. So then we looked at it, the lobster shacks kind of like, in the back east are kind of like the uh, taco shacks out here. And there's so many taco trucks, so we figured why not do a lobster truck. Well, very cool. So talk a little bit about the item here um, on my left here, the uh, chowder soup. We got a clam chowder, we uh, fill it full of clams, we got huge chunks in there. It tastes great, it's really rich and creamy. Uh, we've gotten great feedback on it. And we even added more clams per um, some of our followers' requests. And then our main item is our lobster roll. Okay. We fly in the lobster meat two or three times a week. Um, same with the bread. We have to fly it in from New England. You can't get it out here. Um, and it's our featured item. We got a ton of New Englanders that have already requested us go and stop by their, their work or at night for dinner. And we've gotten great feedback from everybody. Everybody says, it's pretty authentic, so we try to make it as simple as possible. We just serve it with butter or mayo, um, and it's uh, from what we've been told, yeah, it tastes just like what you do find out back east, and we tried to make it as similar as possible. Well, just so you know, I'm from New York City originally, so I could definitely tell you if it's like the original there that I've had. So stand by, guys. Let's check out the lobster roll. Well guys, the lobster is real sweet, soft the way Maine lobster is supposed to be. You got the little butter. I think Justin and the lobster truck's got a winner. You guys check them out. This is Big Tony Ragu here with Justin from the lobster truck. Hey, this is Big Tony Ragu. We're going to be talking with the Wilby Road crew. And we're talking with uh, Jeshua here. He's one of actually the uh, co-owners and chefs. And I've had a chance to actually try their menu today. And i got to tell you guys, awesome food. We're going to actually display a few of the menu items we tried. But first, let's talk with Jeshua a little bit about the influence of Wilby Road. How are you doing today, buddy? Doing great. So tell me a little bit. Um, I know you're a trained through uh, Cordon Bleu. Yes. Um, let me ask you a little bit about Wilby Road. Uh, what's the influence? Influence is uh, North Carolina, Memphis uh, style, like as far as our vinegar-based sauces and uh, just a uh, smoking process. So a little kick, a little tang in there? Absolutely. A little chipotle, a little spices, and uh, definitely um, apple cider vinegar. Very cool. So let me ask you the item that you're holding right now. Let's go ahead and, and it's a, a process of smoked pulled pork for 14 hours with our Thai coleslaw with sriracha fish sauce and lime juice base aioli. Well, guys, I got to tell you, I had it little heat which you know the ragu loves the heat yep. so awesome here we're gonna go ahead and look at another item um, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the next item that you have Absolutely. All right. Uh, right here we have a twice fried chicken this twice fried chicken is a process of a brining of sugar and salt and then we buttermilk it for a couple of days and then we fry it in AP flour then we finish it off in tempura batter twice fried chicken with seared watermelon I gotta tell you guys, looks yummy. Let's talk about your next item you have. Last but not least are uh, smoked uh, pork belly sliders. Smoked pork belly sliders, and it's uh, smoked pork belly for about 14 hours. Then we finish it off with hoisin, sriracha, uh, pickled carrots, and uh, a little bit of cilantro. Well, I tell you one thing I wanna do, I wanna show everybody a little bit because this was really, really awesome, guys. So let's take a little peek what's under here. Look at that. Jalapeno, you got your cilantro, of course your pork belly, you can't go wrong with that. So we really appreciate uh, Chef Joshua here today talking with us a little bit uh, about the Wilby Road uh, truck as far as the barbecue, um, their influence um, as far as the uh, Carolinas. I know there's a little Memphis in there. So if you guys get a chance, check out the truck. It's an awesome truck, great barbecue. We're going to be back to check them out in the future. Uh, we're actually going to be talking with their co-owner next time around, but we appreciate them spending a few moments here. Again, we're over here at the Les Mall, more Melrose. We're going to be talking with actually the um, people who set up this event from MAMA shortly, so stand by. That'll be our end interview. We thank Chef Josh for here for giving us uh, a great little uh, piece of what the Wilby people are about. So.
thanks again, and this is Big Tony Ragu.